there are a number of different resources for people who uh, recognize that they, they're struggling and they need to go see someone. Have a family physician, that's often a first step. And if a family physician can manage uh, some of the common mental illnesses with medications, uh, which, is, which are sometimes sufficient to get someone well, that may be all they need. If it's a more, more complicated situation or um, a more serious mental illness, family physicians often can then refer someone to uh, another more specific mental health provider. Uh, people in college can uh, go to college mental health services. Um, asking around, checking your insurance for the providers that uh, are listed um, is, a, is a good source. NAMI is a great resource. It's nonprofit. It's a patient advocacy group, and they usually have resources within a community uh, to reach out to as well. Seeing someone who knows what they're doing to help put a label on the problem, not the person, on the problem that they're struggling with, and then recommending evidence-based treatments, whether it's forms of therapy or medicines or both for that person. Medicines are usually critical and form an important foundation for people getting better. Uh, but depending on the illness, there are also important forms of psychotherapy that accelerate improvement, consolidate improvement, help people not only get well but stay well and give people important coping tools that they may not have gotten growing up or in their own families and other relationships. Like any other field of medicine, you want someone with a good reputation. You want someone who will spend time with you. The quality of care in, in mental health care tends to correlate with someone fully understanding what you are experiencing, and that takes time. And probably no other field of medicine is fit so important. You have to be able to feel like person cares about you and that you can trust them with often very, very personal information.